Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you how to build an approval workflow in Office 365. That's right, in Office 365. My name is Rico and I'm a solution evangelist for WebParts 360. Okay. So be before we start, let's go through what I mean by building an approval workflow. One of the first things from a technical perspective, the system must provide column permission control. It must be able to uh, follow business logic and manage transaction states. What that means is that uh, when a team member submits, it will get route to the project manager where the project manager will do the approval. So that's what we're going to build today. Now, before we start, let's check up what do you need. First, you have to have an Office 365 subscription, and then you can download and install WebParts 360 uh, um, WebParts, which is currently in free beta now, and you can have it a go. Then you can just create a subsite with the relevant custom list. And if you need any help, uh, do email to me at support at webparts360.com. Let's begin. So this is a standard um, SharePoint subsite with two particular lists. Okay, in this list, there will be a list for projects whereby several projects are connected to uh, are managed by different project name, and we have another list where we manage all the expenses uh, details for specific projects. Okay, so to start with, let's um, come in and add some of the web parts, right? So what you basically need is once after you've installed, you will get this few web parts, say, starting from the designer, which is the designer which allows you to manage the particular um, solution. Also, you will need the uh, smart view, which uh, allows you to do reports. And we will also need the um, uh, smart menu, which manage uh, navigation. Okay, and uh, we will also need the um, uh, services and the most important thing is the final one which is uh, smart list which is the uh, workflow web part so with these few web parts you are ready to go so once you have started you will find that you will be able to get um, the designer so when you click on the designer and this is where we do our project uh, expense approval. Okay, so in this demo, we can just press create. And the system will automatically create this uh, particular um, application site. So once we are there, now we can come in and uh, link up all the lists that we need. In this case, we have only the two lists, the expenses and the project. And once we link it, this becomes part and parcel of our solutions. Next, we will just do our transaction. So in our transaction, we want to work with expenses. And essentially, what we want to do is we want to just come in and say, uh, when you come in, the team member will submit and the PM will approve and then it would be completed. Okay, so in this case, we will come in and submit and it will then branch over to the completed when we approve. So in this case, the state that it's going to do is if the status is equals to approve. Yeah? If you approve it, it will go there. Yeah? Similarly, we can make it go back to the approval if we reject it. Yeah? In this case, if the status is equals to rejected, change the caption, and we are done. So when we do this, we have basically three transaction state. So the next thing we do is we make sure we have a logic. When we select a project, we want to make sure 
we pull over, there is a person called a project manager. We make sure he is the person who is going to do the approval. Yeah? And we save that. And we are done. So that takes care of our business logic on who is going to approve. The next we control who has uh, control over the form. So when in the form, there are a few forms. So this is a new expense form. Okay, and there are a few fields. So all these fields uh, did require um, submitted by. We will default it to the person who is submitting this, and this will be headed. And we don't need the status or the remarks or any attachment. And that's our new expenses. Yeah. So when we come down here to the approval person. The person who approves will essentially be able to approve. And during the approve, you will not be able to change any of these fields. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and only the status and the approval remarks. And that's our approval form. Yeah. And then we save that. Inside here, we will just make sure no one can change it by removing the edit form. Once we are done, when we save this, we are ready to go. So let's try our workflow now. Let's uh, purchase a server. Okay, and this is for project A. And uh, for $12,500, and we require by Friday, and it's going to be a Dell server. When it's ready, now we. And notice when you approve it, it can be approved, and say OK. We save that, and it's ready to go. And it's a proof. Okay, let's review. WebPass 360 provides you with the easiest way to build workflow in Office 365. So today you can start and use our free beta okay, and start prototyping away. Please do drop me a mail and support the WebPass 360 to start today. Good luck. Thanks for watching this video. Why not check out some more great how to videos? or subscribe to our YouTube channel for new videos as they're released.